Hi there. In this video tutorial, we will explain how to measure solubility using the Crystal 16 instrument. Prepare for samples of different concentrations by weighing the compound in standard HPLC vials and adding 1 milliliter of solvent. The four concentrations can be in the range of 0.5x, 1x, 2x and 4x mg per milliliter, where x is the solubility at room temperature. Open the Crystallization System software and start a new Crystal 16 experiment. Fill in the experiment details like experiment name, username and description. Select the cap type. Fill in the details for all the four vials, such as compound, solvent, concentration. Supersaturation is optional for solubility measurement experiments. Select the type of stirrer used. After filling all the details, go to the Program tab. First, increase the temperature by inserting the linear ramp. Fill in the end temperature. The maximum temperature should always be a 5 to 10 degrees below the boiling point of the solvent. Fill in the heating rate at which you want to increase the temperature. The recommended heating cooling rate is between 0.1 and 0.5 degrees Celsius per minute. Fill in the stirring speed. The recommended stirring speed is between 700 and 1000 rotations per minute. Hold the same temperature for some time to ensure all the compound is dissolved. Add a prompt step to check if everything is dissolved. The prompt step will maintain the same temperature and stirring speed. Add the tune step, which calibrates the transmissivity sensor to 100% transmissivity. The tune step is crucial to measure transition points accurately. There are two ways to do the tuning step. This is explained in a separate video tutorial and you can find the link to it below in the description of this video. In the next row, insert a linear ramp to decrease the temperature. The end temperature should be 5 to 10 degrees above the freezing point of the solvent. At a slow cooling rate. Hold the same temperature for some time. Then, increase the temperature again. And maintain it for a few minutes. Repeat this thermal cycle at least three times by increasing the group repeat. The programmed experiment is shown below. After programming the experiment, go to Run and Results. Select the reactor where the vials are placed and start the experiment. You can check the live experiment trend on the graph. After the experiment is complete, go to the Analyze tab to analyze the data. First, go to Transition Points and click on Transition Point Detection Settings which will allow you to detect transition points by different methods. By selecting the legacy crystal clear method, the system immediately runs the built-in algorithm on the loaded data to determine the transition points. This method will not use the settings below. By keeping the transmissivity enabled, you can specify the criteria for transition point detection. Clear point threshold, enter the minimum threshold transmissivity value above which you consider your solution to be clear. Cloud point threshold, enter the maximum threshold transmissivity value below which you consider your solution to be nucleated. Minimum clear time, enter the duration for which you want to maintain the clear point threshold value. Minimum cloud time, enter the duration for which you want to maintain the cloud point threshold value. Minimum induction ramp rate to find an induction point. Minimum induction ramp time the ramp needs to continue before an induction point is found. After filling in the values, click on Find All Transition Points, then click Yes. The system will detect the transition points as per the given criteria for all four vials. The transition points before the tune step and on the constant temperature should not be considered. You can add or delete transition points by right-clicking on the graph. To manually adjust the transition points, zoom in and drag the markers. Carefully match the required transmissivity like 100% for clear point and 99% for cloud points. You can select or deselect the transition points from the table below. Check the transition point in each vial. After selecting the transition points, go to the solubility analyses. The solubility analyses section displays the results where you can see the solubility chart, solubility curve, and solubility table. The solubility graph shows the solubility curve and the metastable zone curve. 
you can select the curve to be shown on the graph by clicking on the label above. Zoom in by dragging the cursor. By right-clicking on the graph, you can select different options like Reset Zoom, Set Temperature Axis, Toggle, or Delete Selected Transition Points. The solubility curves below give information about the fitted function. You can fit the data using linear, quadratic or Van't Hoff equations. Change the color of the curve by clicking on a curve and selecting the desired color. The solubility table shows all the transition points. You can select or deselect the transition point to be shown on the solubility graph. Save the report by selecting the desired format and clicking on Report. To combine the analysis of multiple experiments into one analysis, go to the Multi-Analyses tab. Click on New Multi-Analyses or open Multi-Analysis file. Load the experiment files by clicking on Add Experiments to combine multiple experiments. Then, go to Analyze tab, where you can see the solubility graph, solubility curves, and table. You can change the settings similarly as done for single experiment and save the report. In File tab, save the experiment by clicking on Save and Close. Please read carefully some recommendations for performing solubility measurement experiments. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please reach out to us.